So I'm getting close to finish with the layout of the presentation. When I'm completely done, you can have a look over it and let me know what you think and also suggest any potential changes if, if necessary. How are you doing on, uh, on your work though? How much have you managed to, to do so far? Hey. Hey! I'm talking to you here. What is up with you? You keep losing focus and you are so on edge today. Nothing? I know you well enough to realize when something is bothering you. You've been in a foul mood for the whole day so far, and I know it has nothing to do with the project. It's definitely something else. So, spill it out. What's going on? Okay. Family gatherings can certainly be very stressful. But you don't see your family that often, though. Isn't it going to be nice to go and get to see them again? Ah. Okay. Yeah, I understand that. No, for real. It makes perfect sense. Seriously? Ugh. You know, I've heard of parents putting pressure on their kids in all kinds of ways. Getting good grades, performing well in sports, losing weight, gaining weight, working, etc. But I have never heard of anyone who puts pressure on their daughter regarding getting into a relationship. Why would that be such a big deal to them? Jesus Christ. That's just infuriating. Even to me, and I'm not even the one dealing with it, I'm, I'm just listening to you explaining it. Hey, screw them. They do not get to maintain control over your life. And you shouldn't allow them to push you into something that you don't want to do. Especially considering the fact that getting into a relationship isn't something you can control that easily. I mean, sure, there are ways, like you can always look on dating apps and stuff, but that rarely goes well, from what I've heard. You can maybe control it to some extent, but whether or not you'll be happy in that relationship, that's uh, a bit of a different case. But my point is, I know a lot of people who have tried to look for a relationship very actively. They didn't have anyone specific in mind that they had eyed up, they were just wanting to get into a new relationship, that was all. And in those cases where they tried to force it in that way, they either didn't end up finding anyone, or they found someone only for that relationship to tank very early, in a very bad way as well. So, forcing a relationship is just most likely not going to end well. And you're either gonna find yourself very unhappy, or simply at the realization that you wasted a lot of time and effort that you could have put into other things. I just don't understand why your family is making such a big fuss about it. To be completely honest, I think there are way more important things in life than having a boyfriend or a girlfriend. And I think your family should really realize that. Look at you. You might be single, but on the other hand, that doesn't invalue your success in any way. You've just simply decided to do the rational thing, 
which is keeping your focus on those things that really matter. Getting good grades in university, keeping up with your part-time job, keeping in touch with your friends, and yeah. The things that actually last in life. Yeah. I just wish there was a way to make them stop nagging about it to you like that. Well, this might be a little insensitive to suggest, but I'm going to do it anyways. I don't know personally if this is the only toxic trait that runs in your family, or if there's more to it than that, but have you ever considered cutting them off? If any people in your life is causing you more harm than good, and just do nothing for you except making you stress, then they don't really deserve to have you in their life. They don't have any place in your life in that case. It doesn't matter if it's family or childhood friends or anyone. You don't owe them anything. Yeah, I understand that. They are your family after all. And if that's just pretty much all you have to deal with, then uh, I understand the choice in not cutting them off. Though I do still understand why you're spending less time with them too now, compared to what you did before. Still, there has to be something that can be done for them to stop bothering you like that. I mean... If you have tried to express your frustration regarding the behavior and they still don't bother listening, then I'm not too sure what else can be done, really. Okay, actually, I may have a bit of an idea here. It just, it just crossed my mind just now. It's a bit crazy, but it could work. At least for a while. And when I think about it, there are a lot of things that are pretty convenient, too. Well, what if I came with you to the family party? No, that's not what I mean. What I'm trying to say is, what if we pretend? That I am your boyfriend. If it feels weird for you, then you can just let me know straight away. Again, it's just an idea. I just thought that, since they don't have any social media, we wouldn't have to do any official update or upload images online of us or anything like that. And since you don't contact them that much, we wouldn't have to give them updates on a weekly basis and stuff like that either. It would also be a while until the next family gathering for you, so when that time comes, you can just also tell them that I wasn't able to come because of work or some school project or something like that. Anyways, that was just an idea that I had. And it is pretty crazy, so I understand that you may not want to... Oh. You actually want to do it. Okay. Cool. That was rather unexpected, honestly. I didn't think you'd be in on it. But cool. Okay. Um, so... How should we be doing this, then? Well, if we're going to do this, we should honestly plan ahead a bit, just so we know how to be a bit credible in our roles. And to make sure one of us doesn't cross the other's boundaries or anything like that. Well, we can always start with getting a coherent story of how we met. 
honestly, we can just go very simple here with how we actually met. Here at the university, sharing some classes, we end up working together in some of the groups, and and from there on, we have good chemistry until I eventually asked you out. Seems pretty alright, right? Yeah, that was my thought as well. It's just like how we actually met, except that it has a romantic twist at the end, so... It's not like it would be difficult to remember, either. Hmm, let's see. What else do we have to think about? Oh yeah, that's right. I guess hand-holding at some points definitely poses some affection, right? It does make it a bit more credible. Yeah, I don't think we have to go as far as kissing in front of them. And if I'm gonna be completely honest, that does not sound like something you would do in front of your family with an actual boyfriend anyways, either. <laughs> You seem a bit more private. Well, I mean, if the situation calls for it, I could throw in like a little peck on your cheek. If you'd be comfortable with that. But I don't think we should go farther than that. <laughs> yeah, to be completely honest, I think this could actually be kind of fun. Yeah. I mean, I have always had a little thing for acting, so... <laughs> yeah, I may not feel the same way after I've actually met them, but we'll see. At least it should keep them from nagging about you getting into a relationship or and all of that stuff. Oh, but yeah, um, we sidetracked for quite a bit there. We really should get back to working on a project. The sooner we're done with that, the better. We can always plan the rest of the details for that party later. Sounds good? Ah, great. So, I think most of the text in the presentation is finished for now. I was thinking we could take our own pictures, though, and add them there to show our progress. And